Today's activities to relocate the Soyuz from the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station to the Prashal module on the Earth-facing side of the station, that's the uh, multi-hatched node module uh, that is attached to the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module. The uh, reason for that relocation today is twofold. One, to open up the Poisk module and its airlock for a series of Russian spacewalks that are about to begin on April 18th, April 25th, and May 4th by uh, Sergei Prokopiev, the Expedition 69 commander, and Dmitry Patelin, his Roscosmos uh, cosmonaut colleague. Those three uh, spacewalks again coming up over a two-week period beginning in just a couple of weeks. It also opens up the Poisk module for the docking in May of the ISS Progress 84 cargo ship that will be launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a two-orbit rendezvous to reach the international outpost. Undocking confirmed. Right on time at 3.45 a.m. Central Time, 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Soyuz MS-23 on its way with Prokopiev, Patelin, and Frank Rubio on board. I'm turning off the wide angle. Oh, stand by. All right. Send in the command. Air or uh, DK uh, command is sent. Digital control loop command sent. Fuse uh, power is illuminated. Not a rude uh, command sent. Copy. The target is within the four squares. You can see the uh, thruster firings on uh, the MS-23 vehicle under the manual flying of uh, Station and Soyuz Commander Sergei Prokopiev. AGC mode, yes, AGC mode. Good back away rate uh, reported by the Russian flight control team. The range is about 8 meters currently. Copy. GSO 1 2 and GSO indication on indicator panel 7 are illuminated. Copy. AGC operations are in, in progress. Uh, the target is at the center. We uh, are not getting a good video, so uh, please uh, report uh, on your actions. Copy that. Range uh, is around 12 meters. Copy. Another good view of the uh, Soyuz MS-23 that undocked uh, from the station just about two and a half minutes ago at uh, 3.45 a.m. Central Time, 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time, beginning uh, to back away above the International Space Station, having uh, departed the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the complex moving to a distance of between 40 and 60 meters away before uh, it uh, initiates a 180 degree rotation and then uh, it's a fly around of the complex. At the hard stop, but uh, please do not rush. The ballistics are not recommended for you to align early with the uh, Inaudible. So use the hard stop, and then uh, you would switch and perform the maneuver. Copy that. Uh, so I'm starting at the hard stop, and then inaudible. Uh, copy, and please do not rush. 
Uh, make sure uh, that you do the fly around a line, and the uh, inaudible should be uh, no more than 0.3. Copy. The current range is around 20 meters. The uh, Soyuz is currently about 20 meters away uh, from the Poisk module port from which it uh, separated just a few minutes ago. This view uh, is the engineering crosshair view on the left side of your screen uh, showing uh, the Poisk docking port as the Soyuz backs away to a distance of some 40 to 60 meters away where it will execute a 180 degree rotation. Fly around is in progress. Current range uh, is around 25. 25 meters now, separating Soyuz from the station. Please confirm if you can see all of the indications on the VECA with the monitor uh, clearly. The uh, Soyuz and the International Space Station flying some 260 miles above the Earth, crossing the west coast of Africa on a southwest to northeasterly trajectory. Uh, Sergey, I'd like to point out that if, if you're not using the dissipating screen, then you'll have to use the focusing mode. Uh, yes, uh, already, uh, it has already been done. It's uh, set at infinity. The current range is around 30 meters, 33, around 33. So I use now... Uh about 33 meters away, continuing to back away from the station directly above the complex. Data received here indicates that the Prashal module docking port has been powered up in preparation for the arrival and contact and capture of the Soyuz with uh, the relocation docking or the redocking of the Soyuz to Prashal, the multi-hatched node module that is attached to the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module, that redocking scheduled at approximately 4.23 a.m. Central Time, 5.23 a.m. Eastern. The range is approaching 50 meters. Station keeping is uh, in progress. Copy. Very smooth back away from the International Space Station under the control of Ranges. Soyuz Commander and Station Commander Sergei Prokopiev. Around counterclockwise, starting at the hard stop. I'll copy and confirm. You are go. And uh, the Soyuz now beginning its 180 degree uh, roll maneuver. Once uh, this roll maneuver is complete, Prokopiev then will fly the Soyuz in a radial uh, fly-around 
to a point uh, directly in front of the station and then below the station, maintaining that 40 to 60 meter separation distance. Ninety degrees. Copy. One hundred and thirty degrees. Switching um, from the hard stop. Almost complete uh, with the one hundred eighty degree uh, roll maneuver. Approaching 180 degrees, uh, the turnaround is completed. The uh, roll maneuver now complete. Prokopiev uh, will uh, soon uh, begin to fly uh, the Soyuz from uh, this point directly above the station to a point uh, in front of the station, then below the complex. And, uh, uh, we are ready to proceed with an audible uh, and, uh, to increase the uh, lateral rate. Copy. 11, 55, 45, uh, which uh, docking probe extension command sent. Copy. And, uh, and the Soyuz uh, now has received a command to extend its docking probe in uh, advance of its forthcoming uh, redocking to the Prashal module, the multi-hatched node module that is attached to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module that's on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The angular size of the SM uh, exceeds three squares. Prokopiev, uh, Patelin, and Rubio running about four minutes ahead of their Error. predicted timeline for this relocation today. Again, the relocation serving a dual purpose to open up the Poisk module for upcoming Russian spacewalks by Prokopiev and Patelin that will get underway on April 18th and uh, to clear the Poisk for the arrival of the ISS Progress 84 cargo ship in late May. Once uh, redocked to the Prashal module, the Soyuz MS-23 will remain at that uh, Prashal port until Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin depart the station for good, currently scheduled for September 27th. And the fly around is now underway along the large diameter. The large diameter shows less than four squares and the range is around 60 meters copy. Which is extended and that 13 is illuminated. Copy. The range is around four squares or 55 meters. Copy. The uh, Soyuz docking probe uh, has now been extended as planned. Everything going extremely well, very smoothly. Periodically, you can see thruster firings as Prokopiev manually flies the Soyuz currently uh, to a point from directly above the station to a point directly in front of the station. The 
angular size is uh, 4.5 squares, uh, and the current range is around 50 or uh, 55 meters. Copy. D9 is illuminated at 11.55.09. SM probe is uh, extended and SSVP inaudible. Which do, do, uh, docking probe extension um, cyclogram is executed? Copy. The Soyuz again uh, was launched on February 24th uncrewed from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, two days later executing an automated docking to the Poisk module to replace the damaged Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft that uh, undocked from the station without a crew on board on March 28th, landing uh, by parachute on the steppe of Kazakhstan. We're recording now our SM. Uh, aligning with the uh, SM axis. Uh, SMR uh, docking access, passing it by copy. The Soyuz uh, now almost directly behind or in front of the International Space Station, essentially uh, looking down the barrel of the docking port of the uh, Zvezda service module as it uh, continues its fly around under the control of Sergei Prokopiev maintaining a distance of around 55 meters from the station. Current range is 5.5. Five. Uh, Current range uh, is around uh, 60 meters. Copy. This view uh, from the uh, engineering camera on the Soyuz uh, vehicle showing an excellent view of the ISS Progress 83 cargo craft that is docked uh, to the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Sergei Prokopiev continuing uh, to fly the Soyuz uh, to a point now directly uh, below the station. And now in the field of view, you can see uh, that bulbous uh, module that is the Prashal module to which uh, Prokopiev will align the Soyuz forward docking probe and move in for final approach and a redocking to the International Space Station. Uh, copy. Uh, please continue the flight around. The uh, Soyuz and the International Space Station flying in tandem 
moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator, about to pass uh, the border between southern Russia and western Kazakhstan. Angular size is 4.5. Copy. And again, uh, the wide view showing uh, the Soyuz as it uh, slowly but surely approaches uh, its alignment point some 55 meters away from the Prashal module that's on the left side of your screen. That is the uh, multi-hatched node module that is attached uh, to the Nader or Earth-facing side of the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module. Uh, is uh, soon to be completed, copy. Uh, current range uh, is around 50 meters. And I am continuing to move along the stack, getting ready, inaudible. The uh, fly around is now complete. Uh, the Soyuz uh, precisely aligning itself now with the uh, Prashal module. In advance of uh, a, a short period of station keeping of the and then uh, final approach for redocking. Okay. And you see the uh, Prashal docking port now in the field of view from the crosshair engineering camera on the Soyuz MS 23. I'm aligned with the uh, dock and port axis. Copy. Procopia reporting good alignment uh, with the Prashal docking port. The V5 command. Uh, please send the command uh, on time. Uh, command sent. Copy. At uh, 12.06. Prokopiev uh, running about five minutes ahead of uh, schedule. No problem uh, with the timing. Everything going very smoothly. Soyuz uh, flying 260 miles over northwestern Kazakhstan. Copy. Copy. Uh, the current range uh, is around 40 meters. And uh, I am uh, continuing the approach of to a range of three meters uh, to station keeping. And you can continue at uh, the rate of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 uh, up to a 20 meter range and then uh, not able copy. The commands are armed. Continuing to align along the pitch axis. The current range is 33 meters. Copy. Everything continuing to go very smoothly with the uh, relocation of the Soyuz MS-23 that you see in the field of view in the center section of the uh, Soyuz, the descent module. The 
current range is 25. Final approach now underway. The Soyuz now just 25 meters away from its final destination, the Prashal module, the node module docking port. Strapped in uh, to the descent module, Sergei Prokopiev in the center seat as Soyuz commander, flanked on his left by Dmitry Patelin, and to his right, NASA's Frank Rubio. This again, the vehicle that the three will ride home to Earth on on September 27th to wrap up some 371 days in space. After uh, the Soyuz redocks to the Prashal module and the hooks are closed to form a hard mate, uh, there will be about 90 minutes uh, for the crew to conduct leak checks to make sure that we have an airtight seal between the Soyuz and Prashal before the hatches uh, will be open to allow the three crew members back inside the International Space Station. Sergey, on Bakau video monitor, I am seeing inaudible. Uh, please repeat your last. Copy. Uh, you are coming in very low. We are uh, seeing a circular target on the back of the video monitor. Oh, do you see? Can you confirm? Yes. The target is on the screen. The crosshair is aligned. The target is at the center, approximately uh, by 0.5 uh, squares lower. Continuing. The range is around in order. Again, the uh, view over Russian ground stations uh, from the Soyuz engineering camera as uh, Prokopiev uh, slowly but surely flies uh, Soyuz in for its redocking to the Prashal module. That's uh, the node module, multiple hatches for multiple vehicles to arrive at the station. The target is at the center. And the current range is 18 meters, copy. Kopiev uh, confirming 18 meters, now separating Soyuz from Prashal. Soyuz and the International Space Station uh, flying over northern Mongolia. To recap uh, so far, Soyuz undocked from the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the International Space Station at 3.45 a.m. Central, 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time, backed away from that docking port to a distance of some uh, 40 meters or so 
began uh, a fly around under the uh, manual control of Roscosmos uh, cosmonaut and Soyuz commander Sergei Prokopiev completed the fly around and now uh, is in final approach for a redocking to the Prashal module. Uh, Sergey, please perform station keeping at primaries, uh, and the target uh, should be less than three, three squares at that point, and continue with the alignment. Uh, copy. Current range is 15 meters. Copy, 15. 15 meters now separating Soyuz from Prishal. Current range is 12. The target is in the center. Copy. Soyuz uh, now flying over southeastern China, moving from northwest to southeast. About to move inside 10 meters from Prishal. Uh, the range is 10 meters. Copy, 10 meters. Smoothly closing in for its uh, redocking to the space station. You can see the uh, docking probe fully extended from the uh, orbital module or the uppermost section of the Soyuz spacecraft. range is seven meters. I'm getting ready to perform station keeping. There will be a, a very brief period of station keeping. One more check of uh, the precise alignment of that forward docking probe with Prishal.
That uh, brief period of station keeping will occur at the three meter mark. The target is aligned with the center. Current range is five. Copy. Set up the EGC mode. Station keeping is in progress. Copy. And uh, Prokopiev has put the brakes on for a brief period of station keeping. With the uh, final approach and docking. And they now have a final go from Russian flight controllers for final approach. Impulse. As uh, the station and Soyuz fly 260 miles over Osaka, Japan, Standing by a great view of the MS-23 spacecraft, now just two meters away from contact and capture. Standing by for docking. Contact confirmed. confirmed. Uh, Capture confirmed. Docking occurring at 4.22 a.m. Central Time, 5.22 a.m. Eastern Time. Congratulations with the successful redocking. Uh, thank you. Please accept our congratulations as well. I'm activating the translational uh, and controller copy. The uh, docking probe now retracting to form a hard mate uh, between Soyuz and Prishal. It was a 37-minute transit from the Poisk module to the Prishal module, a flawless uh, execution by uh, Soyuz commander Sergei Prokopiev, along with uh, his Soyuz crewmates, Dmitry Patelin of Roscosmos and Frank Rubio of NASA. A great job. Also... My uh, uh, best regards to you guys, and I guess I'll talk to you next time um, uh, during the progress operations. Uh, good luck with all. I'll talk to you next time. Once again, uh, the redocking of Soyuz to the International Space Station's Prishal module right. occurring at 4.22 a.m. Central Time, 5.22 a.m. Eastern Time as uh, the International Space Station and Soyuz flew just uh, off the east coast of Japan. Twelve inaudible. The time of capture is inaudible. Ready to report on the parameters. Uh, spherical uh, section one pressure is one four three, uh, and for number two is one eight three. Uh, propellant uh, is a uh, Four six seven uh, kg. Copy. Uh, you're going to switch to page one zero six. For the actions uh, on page 106, uh, I am uh, turning off the wide angle lens. Uh, Dmitry, please uh, monitor uh, everything, and I am going to deactivate the agency mode. Closing uh, RPV-1 valve. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, once again, uh, the Soyuz MS-23 has uh, successfully redocked to the International Space Station after a 37-minute uh, fly-around, undocking from the Poisk module at 3.45 a.m. Central Time, 4.45 a.m. Eastern.
Redocking at 4.22 a.m. Central, 5.22 a.m. Eastern Time. Fresh uh, 778 748 we are waiting uh, for the hooks to close uh, between Prashal and Soyuz. The uh, departure from uh, the Poisk module opens up Poisk for a trio of Russian spacewalks set to begin from the Poisk airlock on uh, April 18th that will stretch through May 4th and the arrival in late May of the next uh, Progress resupply craft the ISS Progress 84 that will dock to the Poisk module. 